Hi there, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai. Today we're going to tackle my cedar bonsai. Uh, cedars kind of get a bad rap. Um, people say, oh, you can't bonsai a cedar, the foliage is too coarse. But you can. I've seen some good examples of cedars. And uh, so we're going to start the process of working on this cedar. It's grown since spring untouched so this is all new growth it's healthy it looks really good but it's time to do something with it it's uh, getting long and scraggly and it's time to trim it up and uh, cedar bonsai we don't want them to look like a pine tree we want them to look like cedars so we want to capture the essence of a cedar so what we're going to do, I'm going to go to a different location and we're going to look at some actual cedar trees and see how they grow. We're going to see the growth patterns, what they look like, and uh, then we're going to try and copy that style in this tree. So let's do that now. We're going to go on location to look at some cedar trees. So here's a couple of cedars. Let's. Uh go in and take a close-up look at some of the details. Here's the base of the cedar. As you can see it's got nice striped bark. This usually peels off as it gets older and gets replaced with new stuff. There's a branch growing out the one side. Um, one of the characteristics of cedar trees, if you look here, this branch was growing straight up. Where am I pointing here? Down here. Uh, it was growing straight up. A side shoot, which gets more sunlight, gets stronger. And same thing here. The one that's growing straight up gets a little weaker. The side shoot gets stronger. And same as it gets higher. The side shoot gets stronger. Side shoot gets stronger. So that's kind of a characteristic of cedar trees. Um, a typical growth pattern. Um, let's look up at the tree a lot of dead wood on the inside. Here's the base of the other cedar. As you can see it's got strong surface roots. Uh, the surface roots actually have veins that run up the tree that bulge out, which is kind of nice. You can see an old scar here that's healed and rolled over and just blended in. Uh, similar. Um, this one has some twisting branches that do anything. <laughs> There's no real uh, order to it, but uh, yeah, that's a cedar tree. They grow pretty chaotic. Here's a branch that's pretty typical of any tree. It goes fo almost horizontal, it forks. Again, the strong shoots that get the sunlight grow thicker. The weaker ones stay spindly. Here's the base of the cedar from the other side. You can see the swelled veins going up the tree from the roots, indicating strong surface roots. Here's a good example of a branch that's the vertical one has gotten skinnier and the side shoots taken over and thickened up gets more sunlight. Here's a cedar with some typical kind of branch structure. You see the main trunk and then the branches have formed auxiliary trunks and they all go pretty vertical. Very vertical except for the side branches. Okay so here's a cedar that most of the bottom branches have died off due to lack of sun. You can see the top of it is still alive, but it's a good place to look at the branch structure because cedars keep their leaves all year round. You don't get the opportunity to look at bare branches too often. Hi, we're back from looking at cedar trees. Uh, when you're styling a tree, it's important to do some research, uh, study what the natural form of the tree is. Uh, in this case, we went out and saw some cedars, 
some real life cedars and now we're going to try and duplicate that style in our miniature tree. I've got an assistant today. This is Dandelion. He's going to help us out, right? You're going to chew the branches off? Hopefully not. Okay, so here's the cedar we're working on today. Um, we uh, are getting the roots in order. Uh, with the root base, what you want to do is prune off everything growing straight down and keep your your side roots and they should come out radially like a spoked wheel and they, they're the ones you want to grow and as they thicken up it thickens up your trunk so you'll get a a ridge or a, not a ridge a bump that'll go up the trunk and it'll cause what's called a fluted trunk so yeah that's what you want to do and it's starting to come on this tree uh, this tree was from nursery material. It was stuff you would buy for a hedge and it's been growing as a bonsai for about uh, I don't know about five years in a pot. The rest of the time was in the ground and it was just kind of pruned, pruned with the hedge shears to kind of keep it roughly shaped. Yeah. Okay so there's the root base. Uh, the trunk is starting to get some character. It's uh, starting to crack and get a nice bark texture. When the tree was first started, this was all perfectly smooth, the trunk. It had no character. It looked like a very young tree. Uh, if we look up at the branches here, uh, if you can see that, we're trying to get that cedar look to it. So they swoop up, dive down, and that's sort of a pattern that we saw on the real trees. So, um, so as I say, nothing's been done to this tree since spring. It's been just let grow. And you can see it's very vigorous on the top. And it's weaker down below, which is normal. So what we want to do is prune the top heavier and the bottom less. But we still want to keep it compact. You don't want to let them grow out. Otherwise, it looks loses its tree look. So you want to keep everything compact. But uh, so we're going to go in and start pruning. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to take this in steps. It can be a little overwhelming to just you know go in and start pruning. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it in steps. So anything growing inside towards the tree, we're going to remove. So okay. So you can see from the cuttings down below that there wasn't a lot of uh, inward growth pointing in towards the tree but there was some and we've cleaned that up so on to step two okay step two what we want to do is we want to pick one of our uh, leaders here or one of our branches or new growth whatever you call it uh, as our trunk line and it should be one that flows and then the others are going to become branches off of that one. So what we want to do is anything that's too long we want to shorten. So if you look right, let me zoom in here, and right here where my thumb is, right there, uh, you can see we've got a long section with no branching or anything. So you want to cut that back till it's about, I don't know, uh, five millimeters long and or a quarter inch. And then once we've cut that, it'll subdivide again into new branching. So a lot of this foliage is going to come off and the tree will look uh, a little sparse for a while but uh, once it starts sprouting its new growth it uh, it'll start filling in again. Uh, cedars you have to keep pruning them otherwise they just turn into a bush and it doesn't look like a tree at all so yeah and they grow all season they'll grow all summer long 
The more water and fertilizer you give them, the stronger they grow. They take quite a bit of water. Yeah, so that's, we're going to start on one branch and we're going to start shortening it and picking our leader. So we don't want multiple leaders coming out of the same spot. We just want one upward branch growing up here and the rest will prune away. And that gives more light to the lower branches and we just keep what we want. Yeah. So on this branch, um, if we look at the this, this right here, this growing tip, is the natural line from the branch. So that one we're going to keep as our upward growth. And the rest, this one for instance, we're going to prune almost totally off. So we just have our one branch growing upward and then our sub-branching. So here we go. Let's... I'm going to try and point, I'm going to zoom out, I'm going to try and point the camera better this time than the last video because that was a disaster. So here we go. So we're going to start, we'll just cut it off here for starters. Get it in here, there we go. And we've got to look where the branches are and shorten it to our, sort of our first set of branches, which is down here. Yeah, that's about it. And then, I'm probably out of focus here too. Um, then we want to shorten these branches, so we're going to trim them back to about here. And this one back to about right to about here. Oops, there. And then we're going to prune the growing tips back shorter. So back to there and back to there, back to there. Yeah, so we have our little branches there now. And we're going to repeat that procedure over the entire branch, shortening, keeping our one leader. And there's a good crossing branch that's got to be totally removed. So, I'll uh, check in when that branch is done and we'll have a look at it. Okay, so here's this branch pruned up. We've uh, left our one leader up here and we've got some sub-branches on it. The leader's still up here. Everything else is being pruned back to horizontal branches. Uh, the new growth, you can, if it's where you want it, you can just pull the tips off and here's one for example. Just pull the tip off and you get a little less browning. When you prune it with pruners or scissors, you will get some browning at the tip, but not for long. The new growth will come in quite quickly. Yeah, so there's that branch. It kind of goes horizontal and starts taking off and we've got our outside branches. So that's about what we want um, overall on the tree. So we're gonna do that with all the branches. Uh, you can see how much we've pruned off already and we've just done one branch basically. Okay, we've got the second branch done now. So here's our leader, which is growing more upright. And everything else is branches that fan nicely. And everything else has been pruned away. So you can see the size of this branch is probably a third of what we had. And you can see the pile of cuttings underneath the tree is growing rapidly. So on to the third branch. Okay, so here's branch number three pruned up. We still have our leader up here and everything else will be branches. I could probably prune that off a little more. There. Yeah, now it's fairly vertical, so that one will train these branches to grow on a more horizontal level, we'll keep our leader vertical, and that could be shortened later on possibly. And we could probably wire the branch down a little bit like that, just so it's not shooting straight up. But yeah, that's branch number three. So we'll go on to the next one, which I think will be this branch. 
Okay, so here's branch number four pruned up. All right here. And you can see what's happening with it. It's quite a bit shorter. We have our leader and everything else is horizontal branches. So everything growing straight up from our horizontal branches, you prune off, you thin them out so we've got a, a pleasing branch structure. Nothing too overlapping, the back ones, and our leader, which we've shortened our leader because it's getting a little outside the profile. Yeah, so that's our next branch. So the next one we're going to tackle is, I think this back one here. Yeah, so here we go. Okay, so here's our next branch. Again, we have our leader, branch leader, which flows in with the existing branch, and everything else is horizontal branching. And we've shortened the leader a few times here to get it in check. Now you'll see there's some few multiple branches coming out from some of the same points in here. Uh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, as you saw on the real cedars, the branches can pretty well go anywhere. They're pretty chaotic. Um, and you don't want to strip the tree down so it has no foliage at all. You want to keep it vigorous. So it's something you can do in stages is reduce, you know, when you have multiple branches coming out from one point. Yeah, as one branch grows stronger, you can prune off the weaker one or keep the weaker one and prune off the strong one, depending on which one you want to keep. But uh, don't try and do everything at once or you'll end up killing the tree. When pruning the overall structure of the tree, keep in mind that all this green growth is going to turn into woody branches eventually as they mature and thicken. So if you get them sorted out as they're younger, you have to do less pruning as, you get, as they get older. So yeah. Okay, so that's taken about, about an hour and we've got the branches pruned and it's looking pretty bare. You can see how much we've pruned off down below here, which is quite a bit. However, the good point is we've got our branches in pretty good shape now. We've tried to keep a, a leader on each, each branch, train the others as horizontals. We've duplicated that right up as much into the crown of the tree as we can. So now we've got to make sure each tree, each branch has its spot of sunlight that they're not overshadowing other ones. So, okay, so the trees on the ground, we're looking at it from above. So we're just checking out. You can see this branch is kind of getting in the way of the one underneath. So we could prune that side off of it, let it grow more out or out more this way. Um, you can see a few tips are long and overshadowing some of the branches, but so we're going to go in and try and correct that as much as we can. We're not going to worry too, too much, but you try and give each branch its spot of sunlight and they'll stay healthy and they won't go weak and die. Okay, we've pretty well done our work for today. I've cleaned up some of the branches looking from the overhead view and that's about all we can do for now. Uh, the next step will be let this tree grow. So when it's looking full again, we're gonna go through the same process and we'll be repotting this next spring. So we'll definitely make a video on repotting it, showing how to prune the roots to try and get that nice uh, buttressing at the trunk. And uh, yeah, Nigel Saunders for KW Bonsai, over and out.